This is the Lumia 925, which was just announced at the Nokia UK event. And this is what the phone looks like. And for the first time, Nokia has moved from the unibody polycarbonate approach to a unibody aluminum approach. So this is what you see. If you see the backside, this part is actually a polycarbonate. So the, this is still the same polycarbonate, but this has been changed to aluminum. So this is all aluminum, so, and which contains all the sensors. If you see the bands here, this band here, and the lower band here, there's something which you have seen in STC1 and even iPhone 5. They have bands on the sides. This is very similar to that, which contains all the lower antenna and the, and the upper antenna. And this is what the phone looks like. Now this phone is 4.5 inch with AMOLED display of 1280 by 768. And the camera behind is a pure view camera, which I'll give you a closer look. So that's a pure view camera, which is like 8.7 megapixel. And the rear camera, it's like, the, sorry, the front camera is 1.3 megapixel. And it's a dual LED flash. Now, a lot of guys were expecting that Lumia 925 will have a Xenon flash, which didn't turn out to be right, and it's still using LED flash. So probably that kind of disappointed for the guys who are excited a lot. Now, the sensor at the back portion, this is where the wireless charging port comes in. So there is actually a case which is uh, which can be put on top of this and then can be used with any of the standard wireless charger here. And these are the speakers. Now, the speaker seems to have better capability. We'll get to know in details in the post. So this is the speaker area. And this is the AMOLED screen. And it's a full SD1080 with optical image stabilization. So if, if you have a 920 or if you didn't buy a 920 and want to buy a 925, so there are a couple of reasons why you should actually opt in for. First, it's very light. It's almost like 50 grams lighter than Lumia 920. And it's thin. Plus, it's had pure view camera. So you know, the cam regarding the camera, there are like six lenses in the camera. So that's one lens extra than Lumia 920. And that gives you a very sharp image, both in daylight and the low light. So, you know, you're gonna get better camera. Now, it's not the 41 megapixel camera like the 808, but it's better camera, and you're going to get better at the low light images. And uh, let me give you a quick view of how the phone looks from all sides. So that's the front part. And if I turn it around, now the buttons are here. You have the aluminum cut casing, this one. So you have the lock and the camera and the volume knockers with the bands here. And this is the polycarbonate stuff, which has camera here. Now there's one thing you should notice about the camera, it's a bit lifted up, which was not the case with the 920 or any of the camera. So this looks like the pure view, how the pure view camera is popped out. It's very similar to that, but it's like on a minimum level. So it makes sure that your phone is very, very thick. Now if I take a look at this part, you have the audio out and the mini, like the micro USB. Now this is the SIM port where you need to put again, use a pen to take out the SIM slot and then use a micro SIM here. When I talk about the configuration and all this stuff, so this phone is like 16 GB, which is like 16 GB less than the Lumia 920. That means, and there's no micro SD support because you cannot actually take the case out. And unlike Lumia 720, it does not have the, you know, the SD card slot too. So it's stuck on 16 GB. But since we have the Lumia storage checker with us, so it will make sure that you're not running out of space because of unnecessary apps and all those stuff.